Hey everyone, Zay here and welcome to Zenith The Last City Overview. I don't think I've seen that much amount of hype since Resident Evil 4. I guess it's only reasonable because MMO in VR is something that we really need in terms of just social things. Naturally, I'm the last person to even play it and I'm actually glad because I'm gonna have a fresh outlook on it and if it's gonna be our style in VR, we'll have to see. So Zenith is an action-adventure MMORPG where we put in the said world filled with monsters summoned by dark and mysterious god. First things first, what we're seeing, an insane big maps which is honestly quite a surprise considering it's gonna be releasing on the standalone market as well and knowing the processing power of it I'm like very curious how they even managed to pull it off full physics combat system with I presume two classes for now logically if you introduce that low amount of versatility in mechanics I assume later on we will have some sort of a masteries or specialization to choose from flying throughout the world which could be like a selling point to it not many games do that for a good reason obviously because it involves not only intense locomotion but if you don't do it properly then it's gonna be a big problem in the gameplay. Now in terms of my history with MMORPGs in VR, I was like an early player of Orbus, still back in Quest 1 days where you didn't really have that much to play and I do quite enjoy that back in the day even though it had some crappy graphics and unpolished stuff. It's just this social aspect of meeting people and go do quests and dungeons is very appealing and I'm assuming this game is focused on that type of content. I'm not a hype person at all, it obviously looks amazing and groundbreaking for VR, but we're gonna judge it on the same level as every game. If you're shooting big like that with the concept, then you should be able to handle it no matter what. So the pressure is definitely on for the developers, and let's see what it has to offer. Every server is full. Are you kidding me? Okay, there's only one, so I better just fastly enter. Alright, let me create something fast because I feel like I'm not gonna be playing long. So many people are connecting. This model looks so weird. Look at the like connection between the neck and the body. What? Am I that distorted in real life? Well, that's very simple. Alright. We only have two classes, Blade Master and Essence Mage. Weirdly, both are DPSs, so... And then we can choose a role? Maybe that's this mastery thing, but... I mean, I'm... Obviously Blade Master DPS, at least for now. Oh my god, let me mute literally everything. Oh my god, there's so many people. Okay, let's focus, what are we doing? We're on Quest 2 now, so it's gonna be pretty choppy, but I will try this game on the PC VR, of course. See those arrows? Turn the direction while moving forward. Press the left thumbstick in to sprint. The ether disc augments your normal human speed, making you much faster until you're... See that exclamation point over, over her head? <laughs> that means she has something important to say. Or Move, at least please. something Pretty mildly favorite. interesting. Walk in front of her and wave to start a conversation. Okay. Get out there, Agent. See that yellow ring and spire up the staircase? I overlay them in real space to help you find your way to key locations. Pretty helpful, right? What's going on there? Parts of the understreets are home to slightly aggressive chimeras. Grab your weapons to defend yourself. Blade masters channel essence into their weapon's edge. Wait for your blades to glow, then strike at your foes. Oh. If you attack too quickly, your hits will be much weaker. So it's gonna turn the base, but like with action going on. Okay. As a blade master, you can block attacks by holding down triggers before an enemy attack lands. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. I'll probably wait up until I just get out of here because starting areas in MMOs, when they launch, it is like that. Oh, there's something. So I just wait. Yeah, because the attacks are. Weaker. I need to camp, yeah, on the spawn point. Yeah, it is weaker, okay. But then if you spam... Oh no, <laughs> doesn't. Got it, okay. What's the objective? I feel like the menu is like too close because I have to turn my head while just checking out. And it's way too big for my peripheral, so it needs to be backed off. Defeat Akimat and talk to the local leader. Well, I think I did it, no? Hard to tell if I defeat anything by myself here. <laughs> it is so choppy, but I don't blame anything at this point here. <laughs> I don't know where to go. There are no, like, directional things. That looks tasty. I'd sure like to eat it. If I had a real mouth. 
reach out and grip to grab it. Then put it in your inventory. Nothing's here. <laughs> I guess I'll just eat my cookie. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know where to go at all. Though the city is huge. Holy moly. This glow is not very like apparent on Quest 2. I'm assuming it's gonna be better visuals on PC VR. I mean, obviously, what I'm saying even. Etheric zip lines were installed throughout the world during the fracture, and most of them are still hovering to this day. Grip the zip handle to rocket yourself along the path. Okay. I feel like I should ask someone where to go. I'll just go to the portal. Whoa. Oh. oh, wow. Holy hell, this is crazy, actually. Now I think works properly because this... Starting area was crazy. That actually runs very smoothly. Even the graphics are not that bad, like... Oh, someone to talk to. Hey, over here! Ready to work? Yes, I'm ready, though I don't know if I fulfilled your quest. Dave here is less of a psycho than you, it's in his name. Dave the psycho, that Dave the No, I'm getting recognized. Oh. Uh, yes, except they don't talk. Also, I figured out something. Oh, nice! <laughs> Meet Mika in the fracture plane. I think it's gonna be alongside here? Find it alone to just discover the world. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is <laughs> expected level of graphics, I guess. But it's like open world. Fall back. No, 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 no. I'm gonna explore. On the PC VR, I feel like it's gonna look crazy. I actually can't wait to try it there. Wait, it's hard. Over here, agent. Let's get down to business. When you reach level two, wow. Fire, somebody's starting to fire. <laughs> Use your water magic. Shut the fire. What the? What the fuck is going on, bro? Oh my god, and people role playing. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting community. I guess I'll just explore for now because it's way too chaotic for doing anything properly. Though I might die here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but can we like block? No. Well, I'm off. <laughs> Eat a cookie? How do you do this? Not to mouth? <laughs> okay, so this is like non-target. I can like back off and save myself. Whoa. Something shiny popped out. Reach a hand out and grip it to grab loot. While holding it, move the loot to your belly you or back lips. and let go to put it into your inventory. With the lips? You, you with the lips, oh, what are you doing? Yo, he does have lips, eh? The he fuck does? You get, what are you doing in I here, know. man? Get the fuck yeah. out with your lips. No lips! Uh, get out of here with your lips, uh, man. 
Those Get look like uh, very Get dangerous no lips. lips. I feel like I'm getting bullied. <laughs> I think you can fly just extending your arms. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a zipline there. Ah, oh, too, too many, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need any more of that. It's just a lot of problems. <laughs> I got too many of those. Oh, yeah, too many bitches, it. I see. Uh, they... <laughs> it sounds nice in theory. Wait, if it's too... Yeah. Okay. We're all... It's more enemies. There's so many people. Huh? There's a chest? Oh, there's a stamina on flying, okay. It's within an agent's rights to requisition whatever is needed for Zenith's well-being. Can I open it though? Okay, I don't know how I did it, but I did. There's statistics, equipment, there's so much going on. But I feel like nothing is explained well. Maybe because it's lunch day and I'm like really distracted on whatever's going on. But there's just so much to do. I need to like sit down and explore every single detail here. Like I thought it's not gonna be easy to record Zenith at all and just like create content around it. That's essentially why I didn't do much with Orbus either. It's just not suitable for YouTube because there's a lot of going on. But like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play on PC VR through virtual desktop. Like that's very clear to me. Because seeing what's going on on Quest 2, PC VR will be amazing. Let me try one more time with the combat. Is that a weak spot on his leg? Oh my god, every time. <laughs> I want to fight something, someone appears. I mean, I guess I should be happy that people are playing. <laughs> I guess I can't really judge it for now. It's just not much guidance when you start the game. I'll just do a proper research and maybe I'll be back with a video, but I'll just take my time with this one.